Well, banks that accepted TARP funds face scrutiny over everything from bonuses to Las Vegas retreats to uh, investing in private jets. But can one make a case that corporate jets are a good thing or at least defensible? My next guest says or says yes. He's Joe Hagan, vice chairman of Jet Support Services, which maintains and services private aircraft. Uh, Joe, thanks so much for being with us. Glad to be here. Uh, certainly a contrary opinion to, uh, to, gen to the general public opinion about corporate jets among, uh, among companies. Uh, you know, there were reports uh, earlier, this is why we brought you on, that J.P. Morgan was going to be going ahead with their two corporate jets and also an airport hangar. Uh, since then, the bank has said, no, we're not going to be doing that. They denied that report. But as you know, Citigroup getting chastised for, their for planning on buying a jet. They since scrapped that for GM selling theirs. I mean, are they all making a mistake? Is that your argument? Well, my argument is that these, these, these planes are really business tools. It's like a BlackBerry or a software. I mean, they're expensive, but they add huge value. And a smart shareholder really wants uh, these institutions to have the ability to use these aircraft. Um, one big misperception out there is that they're only used by CEOs to, to fly around uh, the world in luxury. 75% uh, of the flights, uh, it's, it's estimated, are used by middle managers, salespeople, technical people that are flying around the country to uh, to, uh, to do to do the company's business, and uh, it's 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 a great misperception that it's just for the for this for the wealthy CEO. But I'm not sure if that's so much a misperception in the sense that you have had reports. For instance, uh, uh, I think earlier in December, or at least a few months ago, we had reports that in December, Sandy Weil at Citigroup had flown his whole family on a Citigroup corporate jet. Uh, for vacation purposes. I mean, things like that are what feed into, I don't know if you would call it misperception, because certainly uh, that was something that I believe was later admitted to. Sure. I mean, look, there, there are abuses of, of the system, uh, but the bottom line is that these companies need these, these tools to, to compete in a global marketplace. Uh, it's all about doing the deal, and you need to be in front of the customer, you need to be the first to the customer, and once the economy around the world starts to pick up again, uh, U.S. companies need to be able to compete. You have business leaders and corporations all over the world who use these aircraft. And my argument is that, it, that not only are they, are they great tools for the, for the businesses, and sh shareholders should want uh, CEOs and middle managers and salespeople to have access to these, uh, to these important tools, but we also, it's a great industry for this country. There are over, uh, over, well over a million people employed in corporate aviation uh, in the United States. Over 50% of the aircraft that are manufactured here are exported around the world. You know, it's, it's an important segment of our economy, and uh, it shouldn't be demonized because of a few, uh, you know, obviously uh, 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 abusive situations that have gotten a lot of attention. But for the most part, it's a tool like, uh, like any other business tool. Joe, let me ask you about that industry. How much of a hit do you think it's taken as a result of this demonization and, and again, the criticism coming from here in Washington? Well, deliveries have slowed. Uh, the, uh, the used aircraft market has slowed considerably. Uh, charter market has slowed considerably. Uh, so it's definitely, uh, definitely taking a hit. But it, uh, we have a really great industry in this country. We produce really fantastic products. Uh, again, a lot of them are, are exported overseas. Even ma even aircraft that are manufactured overseas are frequently completed here in the United States. Interiors installed, painted, uh, avionics and, and, and business equipment, uh, which leads to another great point: is when when people are in the air, this is not this is not pure luxury in the air. An executive is very productive uh, when he's flying on a corporate aircraft. These planes have fax machines computers, uh, self, uh, or, uh, telephone capabilities, and uh, I've seen one study that says an executive is about 80% uh, effective while, while in a plane versus about 30% on a corporate airplane, so, or on, excuse me, on a commercial flight. So uh, again, they're just a great tool that industry needs. Okay, Joe, thanks so much for being with us to talk about this topic that is of uh, great interest, I'm sure, to the public. Joe.